life and the output of music that he graced us all with is, is, is still, I think, unprecedented. It's, it's remarkable that being a, a single, essentially a single-lined instrument, that Bach, <laughs> being the first composer truly to expose the, the magic of what a cello can do, was able to create multi-voices and, and, and multiple harmonies with an instrument that is essentially able to play one line. The cello was a church bass until that moment in time. That's an innovator. I play these suites for my children. Uh, they are singing dances full of joy and hope, a feeling of warmth, and very intimate. The cello that I perform on is a cello by the, the maker Matteo Gofriller. One of the rarer examples of cellos predating the Bach suites. The fact is my cello was built in 1693. Bach was eight years old. It's very strange and very thrilling to think when I'm playing this cello that these sounds were around during Bach's lifetime. I find that when I play Bach, I go into a place that is a place of wonderment. And I think this is why it's hard to describe. It's internal. When I play Bach, I occasionally will open my eyes and see that the majority of people that are listening have their eyes closed. And seeing this, it makes me realize that they're feeling and going into a special place that I think Bach really epitomizes. Mm -hmm. 